Welcome back to the Rebirth. We're pulling out all the stops in the upcoming Horde. Extra armor plating, a secure floor for the fighting room, and two additional fighting positions that have been battle tested. Bulletproof glass blocks the windows, and the allies have been rearranged for their own safety. But there's no test like Horde Knight. So we'll spend the day collecting brass for bullets before settling in for the fight of our lives. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. And good morning. Well, the base is being painted over there, so while that's going, I think uh, we should head out here somewhere in town and see if we can find a, just like a house, just a simple house. I'm not gonna go into the wasteland today. I'm not gonna do a tier five today. I'm hopefully not gonna break a leg today, but I'll break Big Mama's legs right here. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, hopefully we can find some brass out here, some radiators, doorknobs. Uh, what I'm looking for is just simple residential. You know what? Quiet Pines is right over here. Yeah, I think this is going to have to be the place. Of course, this place is halfway in the wasteland. <laughs> you can see the wasteland over here, so... That might present a challenge at some point, but hopefully we can just kind of poke through here nice and quietly. Yep, yep, yep. Hush, hush, hush. Don't make any noise, please. Okay, I'm going to circle straight around back. Oh, boy. What happened? Oh, jeez. What's going on here? Friggin' our lead is what's going on. What's new? Get out of here. Right, we're going to circle around the back here to Johnny's birthday party. Whoops. Hello there. Okay, do you see any brass back here? Or probably we gotta go into the house and uh, start working on doorknobs and such. Is there like a whole bunch of zombies over here that I'm hearing? Yes, there is! Oh, jeez. Oh, and they're heading into the, uh, the creepy house right there. That might be a good backup option. Big Mama's knocking trees down. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have to get some juice into us. Followed by some coffee. And let's jump down here and work on our sight skill. I wanna conserve the ammo as much as I possibly can. Come on, Rampage. I can feel it coming. Any second now. Come on. Are you kidding me? That whole thing, I, I swear those were all headshots. Okay, where'd the rest of you go? Because I saw a bunch of people trundling in here. There's a big bear there. I'm gonna just take him out. Yeah, they're, they're coming out now, I think. Come on. There we go. I can, like, three-shot a bear, basically. Love it. There we go, extra explosive immune remains. Yeah, we need to like spend more time here in the the regular pine forest biome so that we can uh, stock up on those explosive remains so that we can then uh, build some of that uh, explosive resistant concrete. All right, let's do the best we can here. How do I get in? How about right here? And yes, doorknob off of that door there. This is a tier five, so these, uh, I think these POIs oftentimes have rads and stuff in them. Yes, in fact, they do, it looks like. Ah. Trying not to die uh, like I did on the last Horde night. <laughs> that would be that would be fantastic if I didn't have to like you know scramble to get my stuff and my vehicle and all that jazz that happened at like you know eight o'clock at night the last time. Yes, and this is exactly what we're here for: brass radiators and brass doorknobs and brass faucets or lamps if I can find them. Are these like brass? Dome lights, they are. Okay, so we can take those and scrap them down. Holy crap, there's a whole ton of them. Oh, hello there. Not sure how much brass I'm gonna get off of these dome lights, but I guess we'll find out a little later. I'm trying to think of where the main loot is on this place. It's, um, it's underground. Oh, <laughs> hi there, Mo. Take care of him. Um, yeah, it, it's like in a bunker basement type of thing, I think. Okay, doing fine here. Ooh, Type 56 assault rifle. <laughs> Remember I was using that for like three days before I figured out it wasn't actually a tactical rifle? Ah, those were the days. The days when I had no idea what I was doing. Not that it's very much better at this point. Okay, I guess uh, I guess we're good here. We can move on to the next one. I got all the doors. Yep, we're clear. All right, what's going on in this house here? Not a whole lot. I am basically starving to death though, so <laughs> whatever I can get my hands on, I'm gonna chow it down. Yeah, just like the last house, this one is just loaded with the brass ceiling lights. And all the commotion seems to be drawing in zombies from outside. Oh, she just opened the front door! Speaking of that, I'll take it. Here we go! Whoop! Explosive immune boy! <laughs> oh, this thing is just hilarious. Oh, you can just get such, um, such air on these zombies. Here we go. Oh, did I just get... Radiated. I did. I got radiation damage, but I've got 35 Prussian blues on me. I, it took a while, but I finally did get like all of the, the things that I need to fix myself on the hotbar and stuff. So 
Really doesn't matter if we get infected or, you know, radiation damage, broken arm. We're good. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've salvaged everything out of here that's worth anything, so I'm thinking it's time to move on to the next one. We're gonna clear half this POI out by the time the horde arrives. Anyway, we're moving on to this one over here. This one might actually poke into the wasteland. Holy crap, dog! Take that and stir up the zombies. Hello. Take that door out before someone else does. Hello there, soldier. Soldiers are still pretty tough, man. I got the I got the the, uh, the drop on that one though. High performance running shoes. <laughs> I haven't seen a pair of those in ages. <laughs> I like it. Oh no 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 no! We don't need fires here at all. Oh, there's a fire boy back there. Get out of here and put that friggin' fire out. All right, clear down. Moving up. Just taking the doors out. That's my number one priority. Get the doors before the zombies do. Gun store box here with some ammo. All right, next up here, just gonna fly in and murder every zombie that's in the backyard here. Couple of dogs. Otherwise, not much, so I'm heading inside. All right, wake up, everyone. Oh, jeez, look at them push me. I hate that. It's so annoying. Are you dead? Yep, she's dead. Man, there's no shortage of lights in here. What? The <laughs> Who designed this place? I mean, this place is awesome. Definitely one of the better combo pack POIs, but my goodness, a little overboard on the lights, don't you think? Not that I'm complaining, really, I'm just saying. All clear in this one, though, and it's only lunchtime, actually. Not making too bad a time here today, and there's really nothing to do back at the base except for some wiring. I might... Let's see, we got three houses left. I might, um... Try to pick out the main loot one. I, I think it's that center one right there. Uh, maybe do that and then head back. We just gotta do some wiring. Oh, jeez, hello there, Thomas. How dare you? And there's a fire in the backyard over there. Who did that? All right, all we really have to do is go back to the base and, um, get, uh, our ammo ready and stuff. And I think we're probably gonna be good after that. Oh, ow. Look at all these zombies just spawning in right in front of me. How dare you guys do that? Look at the hazmat people over here. Look out. Might get an infection. Yeah, hazmat people have a higher chance to infect you. Okay, conserve the ammo if I can. Don't need to be doing that. Ooh, doorknob's in there. Hello there! Okay, at this point, I'm starting to feel the pinch a little bit. Also, there was a comment a while back that said, um... Back when I was kind of complaining about uh, 44 Magnums <laughs> and, uh, getting so much 44 ammo and not having a way to use it, other than, like, you know, low magazine capacity... Uh, pistols and such. And yeah, someone suggested that, uh, what if there was a 44 Magnum turret? And I was like, holy crap, that's actually, that's the perfect solution. Because, like, you're never gonna be short on ways to use your 7.62. It's just, it, you know, that's your primary go-to weapon most of the time. All the full auto weapons, even if you're not specced into it. An M60 is still a deadly weapon. And then you got your shotgun turrets, your 9mm turrets, and, uh, so yeah, there's no other way to use your 44 Magnum. I think that would be a great solution to have a turret or something. Or just, you know, at this point really being able to like smelt it or uh, scrap it or dismantle it or something to turn it into some sort of a useful ammo type for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think this is uh, this is not where I want to be, so I'll, I'll poke my head in here just to get these radiators. But uh, I think the main loot is elsewhere. Yeah, how did it go before? Is it... Is this one over here? Mm, no, I don't... That doesn't, that doesn't look familiar to me. Let's try this one over here. See what Marlene's up to. Hello. Um, this one doesn't look familiar either. Okay. Have things changed or am I just doing this wrong or what? Where is, there's like an underground something something here somewhere. Yeah, at this rate, I, my goal was to go back home by like, um, three o'clock, which gives me about an hour, which is about like, I don't know, a couple, five in-game minutes maybe. Yeah, and I don't see... Um, is it, there's a basement in that one. Okay, I'll dip in there and see if this is what I'm looking for. It, it could be, maybe. Holy crap. Oh, that guy's got a lot of hit points and he's about to blow. We don't want that. That would, that would be a lot of fire. Oh, I leveled up. Interesting. Holy crap. Who was that? Oh, I'm like filled up on loot anyway, which is... Uh, you know, in a bit of an issue. I may need to run outside real quick and stash. wonder what the storage is on this. Not great, but really better than nothing. Oh, who's that? Is this... Is this what I'm... Oh, here it is. Okay, here's the, um, the bunker thing. 
And this dude here is in the bunker thing, isn't he? Huh, okay. Well, there's, um, I'm trying to remember here. There's a way to get in, I think, from here, if I recall. Nope, nope, uh, never mind. <laughs> that, that's not the way in. I think you just gotta go in. Can I have that, please? I think you just gotta go in the, the old fashioned way, which is basically right down the hatch here, which is locked. There we go, made it in. And the zombie's awake somewhere. Is that. I'll have that, please. Um. Oh, jeez, another one? Crap! I. There's. I remember there's another way in here. There's a way to do this properly. I just. I don't know what it is. I thought there was like a secret, like, um, like a ventilation duct that you could jump down through. Or is this it? That's not it. Jeez, oh well. Okay, let's just go in through the door then. All right, I'm in. Oh, jeez. Hello. Go away, go away, go away. All right, yes, this is... <laughs> what are you doing down here? We've got Death's Whisper. Holy crap. Oh my god, she's strong. And I'm kind of stuck in here. Holy crap. Roxy John Taylor and her friend there. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh my god, they're all stuck in the floor. Ah! Kill, kill, kill. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's that. Usually she has, like, a lot more friends with her, though. Okay, was this not the main loot? Oh, boy. Um... Crap, I don't, I don't know that it is. There's always the basement that we kind of passed up before. This just might be some sort of a, a hunker bunker thing down here. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was the, uh, ooh, the battle sledgehammer. Not sure if I saw that before. Okay, all that uh, breaking and beating and pounding on the walls was basically for nothing. And we are definitely cutting it close. So let's head over here. There's another, um, wasn't there like a basement here? Yeah, I can see it, it's right here. Okay, we'll try this then. All right, what was, is this? Oh, this uh, definitely looks more familiar to me. This is where the main loot is, right? Oh, hello. Yes, kind of. Okay, there is loot back here. I'm not sure about main loot. Got the heavy titanium flanged mace there. Some first aid. Otherwise, not much is going on back here. Those valves are actually made out of a little bit of brass. Okay, definitely feel like I'm missing something here. Where to frig is like the main loot chest, or is is there one or not? Maybe I don't know. But at this point, I really don't have the time to um, to continue exploring. I could just kind of like poke my head in this third house over here, the only one that we haven't been to yet, and just see if anything looks familiar over there. Whoop! Give me that. Yeah, this one over here. Was there anything in here that has like main loot vibes? Ah, there's a screamer here now too. Okay. I definitely really just don't want to be around for that. Okay, give me Red Bull, and let's get out of here. Oh, a chicken! Give, give me, give me, give me! Oh, crap, I have to have my bare hands. Ah, uh, <laughs> come on. Where is it? Ah, where did you go? Oh, man, I lost it. I lost it. Did it go in the house here? Hello? That's like the first chicken I've seen in weeks, so I really don't want to pass it up, but I don't have much of a choice right now. We gotta go home. Oh, there he is! I got him! Ha ha ha, yes! All right, we're heading home. We gotta get ready for the horde. The base should be finished by now. There wasn't a whole lot to paint. Mostly just touch-up job. Oh my god, I got catapulted. Okay, we gotta adjust the timers on this a little bit. Which one was messed up? Oh, this one. Okay, trigger duration... 10 seconds, please. There we go. Yeah, stop catapulting me inside. Okay, it's 8 o'clock. Let's get ready, get all the ammo. Um... Okay, there's actually a lot of things to check here. Um, oh, I did want to uh, rearrange some of you guys, so let's do that right now. I'm gonna pick up all of our ch trainers, except for Briston. I think he's in a good spot, so come with me. Yep, that's looking better. That way I can put the pistol users in the corners here, because I feel like if I want anyone to be obstructed by the corner of the wall here, it's gonna be a pistol user. I want my high capacity people to be kind of more uh, in the middle, you know what I mean? Like this. Okay, does that- is everyone, like, relatively evenly spaced? It's, uh, it's not looking too, too bad. I think we're good here. Genetics box. Okay, rage capsule. Wouldn't be bad to start off with that, baby. Food. Yes, food is big. We want tuna fish gravy and, um, the meat stew, right? That's the one that does the magazine capacity and stuff. Okay, what's the steak and potato? That's jump strength. We don't need that. Immune to shock? Eh. 
Immune to radiation, probably okay with that. What did I cook most recently? Some more boiled water? No, I'm good on that. And distilled water and uh, blueberry pies over here. That'll be good for when we loot up a little bit later on. Okay, just drop a couple things in here to finish that off. Everything is nice and see. Oh, 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 yes. Hyper, you are going to come with me and you're just gonna hide in the hide in the gun safe temporarily along with the helicopter because basically i don't want things that zombies might target sometimes the zombies will go for uh the dog perhaps and that's why they're breaking in here but yeah this place is as buttoned up as it can be i mean granted the walls are mostly cobblestone but um hopefully the focus will be on these guys down here and on me in the bottom okay i just got outside to uh start the battle and i realized that uh, number one the, oh, am I hungry? Oh crap, I'm hungry. Well, I'll be eating here in just a second anyway, but um, the blade traps are not hooked up, which is bad news. So need to fix that. Got a wire tool here. Just gonna wire it directly off of uh, anything. It doesn't even matter. And the second thing I realized is that I can't actually jump inside anymore because um, this stupid, <laughs> Oh crap, how am I gonna do this? Uh, because my jump height is too high, so I can't friggin' do the maneuver to jump inside anymore, which is just a tragedy. It's not good at all. Okay, spin all of these up. I really don't care how they are oriented. They are just going to blow up in a matter of seconds anyway. Okay. All right, jumping out now. Well, the day 60 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. We've got a good group of zombies out here, and I've eaten all of my power-ups. We've got, um... <laughs> uh, we got a lot of stuff going on there on the bottom. And the Seekers are definitely here. All right, let's do this. We gotta get a rampage going. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna work, but just try to line them up for headshots the best we can. Got a deep laceration already. That's great news. Focus on the headshots. So far, no luck. Um... I don't, it's kind of hard because the big bodied zombies are kind of in the way. I'm almost feeling like the uh, armor piercing ammo will probably serve us better for this. When it was just the regular sized zombies, it wasn't so bad because I could kind of like line them up in a row. But yeah, this is not working and I'm out. So let's go over to the AP. Oh crap, give me some first aid. Definitely need it. Holy crap, okay, here we go. Do the best we can to see if we can get the rampage going and if things get a little bit too dicey, which they are, they, they are. Uh, my leg is sprained here already. Um, yep, low threshold to kind of call it at this point and uh, head back to the base without the rage. Uh, oh crap, now my leg's broken. Yep, okay, time to go. Put a cast on me, there we go. Okay, I can at least move and I should have some steroids here. There we go. Well, okay, no, I think I'm good. I can stay out here now. Yeah, watch out for those orbs. Those, uh, those do a lot of damage. Yeah, it's just like Seeker and Cop City down here. It's really bad. All right, it's now or never. I've got a bunch of regular, basically rad zombies in front of me. Come on with the headshots, please. Oh, now the Seekers are here blocking me. Crap. All right, I'm gonna give it one more mag dump and then I've got to go back inside. All right, here we go. Got them all lined up now. One final try. Nope, 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 not working. Not working at all. Ah, oh, crap, I'm stuck. Okay, I have got to get back inside. I've got to use the drawbridge though. I don't have a choice right now. I have to go in this way. Oh, look at the ramp. It's already half destroyed. Yep, we gotta go in this way because um, I can't, with my freaking parkour skills, I can't make my way in through the regular, uh, the doors. Okay, just make sure that um, I'm watching for zombies. There we go. Shut that down. Okay. Man, there's already a ton of damage going on in that room over there. Um, zombies still in here. Hello, Steven. Get the frig out of here. There we go. Okay. Wait a minute. No, now we gotta spin them up on this side. All right, this is it. This is what we've trained for. Shut the door. All right, let's do this. Oh crap, I'm taking shots from friggin' cops already. How did that even happen? Radiation damage. Okay, I can fix that easily enough. I think the, the friggin' cops bitch is tel totally teleported through this friggin' door or the floor here. All right, this is it right here. Oh 
my god, I'm I'm getting shot through the floor. Here we go, yeah. This is the stage of the game where physics just don't even apply. Uh, the good news is the, the wall that we built there it seems to be functioning well enough. There's a lot of explosions going on out there, but it's all explosion-resistant concrete, so hopefully this all holds up for a little while. Uh, yeah, we've got a Wraith, and it sounds like uh, our friends are, are doing some good work there. It's kind of looking like they've made their way through the first set of bars there. I'm not entirely sure. I can't quite see. Sometimes they might just be getting pushed through. It kind of looks like that's the case. <laughs> like I said, physics don't really apply. All right, take care of the wraiths. They're becoming a bit of a problem here. The zombies, however, are really not much of a problem. I think this is... Oh, crap. Need repairs. This is um, definitely a viable strategy here to kind of push them out away from your base and make them work through some disposable blocks and just kind of freaking hose them down while you're at it. All right, stocking back up on my tuna fish gravy toast and my meat stew. Those things have run out, but they're good for another six minutes. That should get us through to the end of the horde. Speaking of a horde, we're halfway through it at this point. Granted, we've spent a good portion of it at this point outside on foot, but I'm really feeling confident about how this is holding up so far. Oh, you know who I think who's spinning at me is those stupid radiated vultures and the wraiths up there. Although, I haven't been shooting up there very much. I think that the, the companions and the traders are doing a good job holding them off for me. They're, they're very quiet because I don't think they have a good um, angle on any zombies because all, all their field of fire is out there toward the south. Holy crap! Okay, major, major collapse over here. We've got to transfer them over to the other side. In fact, I'm going to just transfer them to the front left side over here just because I want to see mostly how it will work. Okay, the door seemingly has held up pretty well here let's um just open both of them up. oh yeah definitely make sure that's closed okay i can hear blade traps chopping uh over there on the right side it looks like yep yep here they are um oh god i thought that was something collapsing it was the drone <laughs> oh good news oh no 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 don't don't do that that's not good oh crap um Yep, lock that friggin' hatch there. I must have replaced it and forgot to uh, re-lock it. Yeah, the allies are shooting now. I can hear them. They're all, all seven of them, I think there are. to me. The problem with this position here is going to be that they're going to be damaging the uh, the, the plate down there, the, the plate, the door. Look, it's almost destroyed, so I'm going to sit here for two seconds and just fix that if I can. Yeah, just a, just a couple of regular rads over there. Not doing too much. Yeah, this is, this is definitely the volume door here. Okay, I am getting roughed up. I don't know what keeps hurting me, but... Um, I'm doing the best I can here. It's not going too terribly bad. Yeah, we've, we've definitely got this. I'm going to call it right now. It's almost 3 a.m. And we're still holding strong here at this fighting position. I still am getting spit on. I feel like it's coming through the floor. Oh, yes, it definitely is. Okay, I'm going to uh, shut this side down then. Yeah, because my, my plan worked. I, I'm not going to fall through the floor now, for sure. I've lost that door. Wow, okay. Holy crap, we've lost a huge portion of the back. The ammo container. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, close that so I don't fall through, baby. Ah, crap. I've got to go back here to, uh, to turn on that side there. Hopefully they don't hit the electrical. Yeah, the armor plates that we put on the bottom here, that needs to be extended to the whole rest of the base, I think. Okay, just confirm for me, please, that this door is open. It is, uh, but so is this one still. I forgot to actually shut that one off. Here I am overcomplicating the system there a little bit. There we go. Okay. Ah, crap, the cops are just so brutal. All right, but they're starting to come up on the far side here. I'm very confident in this position. Just juice me up one last time on the tuna fish gravy toast and the meat stew, and I'll save the rampage, the rage capsule, in case I need to run on foot. All right, not too bad here so far. Just kind of lining up the regular zombies for some headshots and some, uh, you know, other type of headshot on the Seekers. All right, it's 3.56 in the morning. I've totaled 500, 480 kills, sorry, almost 500 for the whole night with 89 headshots 
I like how it kind of gives you your stats for the night. That's pretty cool. But uh, the horde is now over. We just got to wrap up the ones that are here and then fight off the screamers after that. But we know that this fighting position here works really good against the screamers. And we should hopefully still have electrical enough to uh, power the front side of the base on the south side if we need to. And I'm sitting on plenty of ammo here. So just going to kind of continue shooting down the lane here. I can't help but think about all the money we're going to make off these seekers. We're going to be friggin' filthy rich. Okay, I think I've killed all the seekers. I've been at it for about an hour. And um, we're just working on screamers and screamer zombies now. I'm pretty sure. I'm dying of dehydration. Oh boy. Let's try to work on that too. Beer. Beer is good for drinking. All right, it's looking really quiet now. I think we've finished them off once and for all. Oh my god, the ramp. No, the garage. It's so bad. Oh god. My goodness, this is gonna be this is gonna be a lot of work to fix all this. Yeah, these are all just screamer zombies out here. Oh, and of all times, oh, that's a bandit raid. Crap. Ah, help. Okay, just stand up front. Oh, this um, took quite a bit of damage out here. Yep, take care of the bandit leader. Take care of everybody else. We're just going to end up calling in more screamers like this. Great. Okay, how about skeleton army and mercenaries to help me out? I forgot to use them earlier, but here, take that. Is that the last one? Well, I'll let these guys take care of the rest of them. I want to go see what happened over here because... Yeah, oh... Oh, what happened here, man? That, that, that's a weird damage pattern there. But, uh, yeah, we lost the whole side on this end, but it lasted for a solid two hours, I would say. Uh, damage out here, not terrible. Uh, armor plating, so the armor plating was colored purple, so we lost all armor plates. Uh, that needs to be upgraded then to explosive resistant concrete. The steel, um, pr held up pretty well, actually, not too bad. It was this area over here that became the new weakness. This all probably should just be ground out and replaced with explosion resistant concrete. And yeah, for some reason, the the cops, they just love to friggin spray and pray into the base from all directions, ruining all of our hard work. And supports, I would say, are in really good shape here. This one took a little bit of damage, but you know, you could knock that out and things would still stand up just fine. Okay, then. It is time to just loot up, I think. Oh, wait a minute. There's a whole bunch of corpulence over here trying to beat up my uh, my striker. You friggin' assholes. Why would you do that? There's a bandit over there, too. Here, bring them over here where the allies are. Oh, the allies are in the APC with me. Here we go. Kill the succulents, otherwise known as corpulence. There we go. Okay, I, is that it then? That That's seemingly it. Oh my god, I don't even want to know what it's going to take to... Oh, that's probably what happened, is uh, these supports here got knocked out on this one over here, and it collapsed the same way it did when we were building it. Anyway, okay, there goes all of the skeleton... Well, except for Trevor here. Trevor wants to continue to hang out with me, I guess. But uh, yes, it's time for me to loot up a little bit. Let me go get the blueberry pie. Wait a minute, I don't even know if I can get back in the base, because here, here's the issue before, is that... Uh, oh, there we go. Actually, it worked. It's just, um, it's a little bit more tricky to do. Oh, and we've got to check upstairs, too, and just make sure, okay, everyone up here seems to be fine. Looks like they got thrashed around just a little bit, but no big deal. And everything in here looks, um, hmm. Uh, it's, oh, it's all here, at least. Um, this, I, I thought I could get away with the cobblestone, but you can't even get away with it over there. And up here, oh, everything looks, um... Did we lose anything? No, we didn't lose anything. We, I mean, we lost the ammo workstation downstairs, but everything up here is A-OK. -okay. And uh, top side here, yeah, looking really good. This actually did not take nearly as much damage as it did the last time. Anyway, blueberry pie in, please. <laughs> and we'll see what they left us out here. Oh man, we're gonna get so much loot here. Oh, hello there. Is this a wandering horde? Get out of here. Can't get a moment's peace around here. All right, was that the last one? Yeah, I think we're good here. Now we can loot up. Oh great, now we've got a whole group of friggin' monsters over here to fight with. And they're also trying to break my vehicle. Stop doing that. Here, just pick up the vehicle. You know, I'm loving all the loot, but it's getting to the point like it did in um, other series like, you know, Darkness Falls and War of the Walkers where the loot bags just become uh, a bit of a chore. I don't need most of this stuff, but I can't help but, you know, pick it up and take it. 
think my inventory is reaching max capacity. I run out, I get three loot bags, I run back and stash it all away, and then I run back out and fill it back up again. Okay, there we go. That was the last of it there. I think there might be a couple of scattered loot bags that I've missed, but uh, I don't see any right now. All right, let's pop upstairs and see what we got then. Okay, so all of the stackable things I've just been porting into their respective storage containers, and I'll do that one more time here. What's left, uh, probably a lot of the sellables have also been ported up into some of these containers too. But at this point, I definitely feel like it's gotta be time for, oh, look at the money I have been pulling out. Wow, we're up to like almost 100K again. Uh, the real damage was just done down here. We lost the saw table. We lost a shotgun turret, both of them in fact. And I, uh, I don't even know if I'll replace them at this point because they're not doing a whole lot. Uh, we lost the ammo workstation and, oh, the vehicle workstation as well. Uh, a couple of decorations were lost, uh, the door, the drawbridge door, large chunks of the ramp down there. But uh, all things considered, I'd say we fared better this time than we did the last time. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to hold up to the last horde as well. This next go around, it's just going to be about getting a lot of the important stuff upgraded to like concrete and steel. We've got the steel now, so we might as well make the whole floor down here out of either explosion resistant concrete or steel. We'll put armor plates on the bottom. Maybe we'll even put like a, a network like this on the top so that we're not gonna fall through in some places. Oh no, I lost the shredder that had all the brass in it that we just collected. Are you kidding me? There was like, there was like 25,000 brass that was going into that. Damn. Well, that's that's the, that's a big loss, and I, I do believe there was also like a big charge of ammunition that was going in the ammo workstation that I forgot to pull out. Well, you win some, you lose some, I guess. All right, I've got things more or less organized enough to do a sell-off, so start gathering up the materials here. Is there anything new that we collected that might be worth taking a peek at? I did at some point find this rifle here, which is pretty cool. I think it's a... Um, semi-automatic bolt action you know new fancy post-apocalyptic technology there and the goth mace i do believe we've seen that before we see the alliance spear yeah i think we've seen that one before a couple of new bits of armor to change over let's look at the battle sledgehammer wow that looks cool that looks like um some warhammer 40k stuff right there and this is the oh this is something i can't use the leonidas spear that must be like the apex spear wow i found an auger that has uh plus 10 to the block damage. Right, so overall some pretty significant armor upgrades there. No weapon upgrades. I got a really significant auger upgrade though. All right, it's time to sell off though. Okay, there we go. That's done with. Let's put the, I had 25K on me to begin with, so I'll put that away so I can easily count how much we made there. $93,000 off of that sell off. That's incredible. So, okay, all told, we are sitting pretty on $188,000 right now. <laughs> I actually went went ahead and sold some of the mechanical parts and stuff. We had a whole bunch of extra as well as, you know, extra ammo. Sold all the 44 because, you know, we can't find a use for it, really. And, okay, we can take the helicopter out now and set that down again. Have to set that down outside, though. And I was thinking about going out for a quest, but honestly, there's just so much to do around here. Like, um, you know, crafting and, and getting things reoriented and repaired and stuff like that so I think I would much rather and it's just a better use of our time to kind of get started on all that okay well first things first I think uh, we should work on explosion resistant concrete blocks and uh, also drawbridge door ammo workstation saw table and uh, mechanics workbench oh and look at that right there a whole bunch of extra 762 that I was crafting unfortunately I was to try to get rid of all of the um, bullet casings and bullet tips. I think we're good on that. Probably focus a little bit more just on the AP. Let's see, we burned through, I had I think like four or five full stacks and we still had plenty left over. So we'll aim to have another four stacks by the end or by the beginning of next Horde Night. Okay, ammo assembly workstation, explosion resistant concrete shapes. And in terms of making more of that mix, uh, we're short by one sample of explosive immune zombie. That requires 10. I thought that was less before, but I probably am misremembering. Okay, drawbridge door. And it looks like we need both motion sensors as well. Make some extra topsoil. And just for now, I think I will just immediately send out Neuro to start working on repairs. That way we can get a sense of what we're going to be short on. And in fact, I don't have the materials to make a saw table. I don't have the table saw blade. I think, actually, 
that I had one and I got rid of it thinking, oh, I'll never need a table saw again. You know, I know just where to find a table saw. I saw one a couple of days ago. Pretty sure there's one in here somewhere. Uh oh, did I, did I misremember? I swear there's one in here somewhere. Aha, there it is. Got it. And while I'm out today, I think I'll try to find that last explosion resistant zombie so I can get the remains so we can start cranking on a little bit more mix because I turned all the mix into blocks, which we will need, but we'll need the mix for repairs. Nice. That's all we need to give me those remains wherever they are. Oh, and before we go, is the garden ready? Well, let's drop in and take a look. Uh, no, it's not quite ready yet. It's at growth stage three. Everything is growing. Y'all have water? Still haven't pulled any water out of these. I don't know what's going on with that. How about the chickens? Oh, right, I never made the feed bucket. Although it does have a little bit of stuff. Oh, occupant, did somebody kill my chickens? Ah, crap, I think they fell off the edge and wandered off. Okay, so, <laughs> um, well, I think we'll probably have to put them back in the bathroom next time. Okay, let's get a feed bucket for tomorrow. We'll go put that over at the garden when we go to harvest. Okay, I'm just getting all the stuff made so that we can get the auto workbench. We can go put the ammo workstation down and start cranking on ammo again. Oh, who's that? Is that a freaking wraith? Yep, got him. Who are you shooting at? That's very, very strange. Yeah, take him out. There's probably a skeleton warrior that's gonna spawn like 800 yards off in the distance like <laughs> Ready for battle and there's just nothing out there. Okay ammo workstation back in and you can start cranking Look at that's using all of our brass again <laughs> Jeez, we're gonna have to like make another big expedition out of going to get brass. I'm so disappointed it, Of course it took out the shredder that I was shredding everything in and not the one that was just you know the backup shredder over here Right. Well at this point I think it's just time to kind of like patch all the holes in the floor with some concrete blocks Wait, no, 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 no. We don't want to do that. We want to do that with the explosion resistant concrete. In fact, it's arguable that uh, we should kind of tear some of this stuff out. Man, that would be just so time consuming. No, I don't want to do that. I would rather just go on the bottom and put the armor plates in like we did before. I think that's going to be just as effective. Well, not just as effective, but much more time efficient. Okay, at this point, I think most of the patchwork is done. The door is almost done. Whoop, missed a spot there. Let's slide that back in there. Did that need any sort of a tool? No, that's good. And I think I'll just do, you know, regular concrete block for this right here. There we go. Yep, the stairs are back in looking good. This platform here, it has been fixed. Everything out here looks fine. We do have to go out probably tomorrow or the next day and uh, rebuild this flank uh, fighting position thing over there. Ah, oh, geez, this is just an absolute mess out here, but... Um, <laughs> I guess we got to stick with it now. It's the only way into the base for the vehicles. I'm sure I'll be discovering missing blocks for the next week, like this thing right here. Like, how, did, how does that even get destroyed? Kind of noticing how dark it is up here because we took the lamps out. So I did get these lights a while back that I thought would look good in here. So I'm going to set them in now and hook them up. Yeah, I'd say that looks uh, remarkably better. Actually, that looks great. Love that. Oh, crap. We need a... Uh, oh, crap. I only have one more. Oh, geez. Yeah, we'll have to uh, look for another one, I guess, to just make it symmetrical because that's going to help light up that corner over there. Yeah, pretty snazzy. I like it. OK, there's my drawbridge door and my motion sensors make the car lift. And that's the last step to get the auto workbench. And the trick with the drawbridge door is usually something like this. And that should give me the placement point for the door almost. Actually, just got to come one more closer to me. And that should do it. Reconnect motion sensor here. What was this even hooked off of? I have no idea. Okay, everything's hooked up. Switch on, redirect camera, 10 seconds. Down to this one, which will be 10 seconds and redirect this camera. And we're good apart from the fact that, you know, half of this friggin' bridge is missing. But at a minimum, I can kind of <laughs> activate the sensor. And just jump. I think we're gonna have to purchase ourselves a new claw hammer. There we go, which will allow us to make the auto workbench. Repair up the drone. And just like that, I think we're pretty much right as rain. So fortunately, a lot of the electrical was intact. Of all the blocks that got destroyed here, if those switches were destroyed, that would have messed a lot of stuff up. I don't know, it's not, it's never gonna be perfect. What we really need to do is to take uh, these explosion resistant concrete blocks and just redo the system here where we put these uh, V2 plates all along the bottom. Oh, look at that. 
That actually worked out really, really well here. Let's just seal those in with the explosion resistant blocks. Those are gonna do better at blocking the cop spit than the uh, the steel will. Or so I've learned. Okay, we'll line the whole bottom part there with um, uh, V2 plates, like basically all along the bottom. This will all just be V2 plates. And that should afford us a ton, a ton more protection versus the cops like basically just spitting up at us. And I guess it's also debatable if we wanna like try to put some more armor cladding out here on the top, and uh, not the top, but on the side here. Here, let me just jump up there and see what that's gonna look like. I'm at the jumping stage where I can do double blocks every time I jump. Right, so we need to put like this thing back on the outside, and then we'll put another bulletproof glass block in there. But see, there's also, there's more areas here. There's these three areas here and two down there that could use some form of protection. So I'm not ready to commit to anything just yet, but uh, hear me out on this. What if we just did like, you know, spike layer like this? You know, I don't think that's gonna look great, but that's kind of the idea. Let's just get a look at that from the ground level. Yeah, uh, well, it doesn't look like, it's not the worst, especially if it was painted like purple to contrast against the wall, but that um, that's what we need there to, to just afford us some more uh, shielding against projectiles. Something that will look good like that and kind of fit the theme of the base. I'll have to think it over. Okay, so the sun is rising there in the east and I think this is about as far as I can go for today. There's little bits and pieces like this that need to be repaired, but we can continue working on all this stuff first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.